On 26 May 2025, the Hajhat Fun Kaveri engine suddenly blew up all over Indian social media. Thousands of people, from defence experts to everyday folks, were posting, tagging and urging the government to start seriously funding the Kaveri engine project. Now, was this just another social media buzz moment? Or is there actually something big going on here? Let's break it down. So, the Kaveri engine is India's very own jet engine project. It's being developed by GTRE, a lab under DRDO, the organization that handles most of India's military tech. The engine was originally meant to power the Tejas fighter jet, but things didn't go exactly as planned. By 2008, the engine couldn't meet the required performance, so it was removed from the Tejas program. But here's the thing. The project wasn't scrapped. It just got a bit quiet, underfunded, slowly moving, being tested on other aircraft and quietly improving. Technically speaking, the Kaveri engine is supposed to generate about 80 kN of thrust with afterburner. That's the power it gives to a jet for takeoff and combat speeds. It's also being developed in a simpler, non-afterburner version to power India's upcoming stealth drones like the Ghatak UCAV. Recently, companies like Godrej Aerospace delivered key engine parts to DRDO. And plans are on to make a stronger version with 90 kN of thrust, which could one day be used in future Indian fighter jets. But why is everyone suddenly tweeting about it? Because India is still heavily dependent on foreign jet engines. From the US, France, even Russia. And without our own engine tech, true self-reliance in defence remains a dream. Plus, there's a big shift happening. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has just approved the execution model for India's next-gen stealth fighter, the AMCA. A fifth-generation aircraft that'll need a powerful, homegrown engine someday. So. The demand to fund the Kaveri engine isn't just noise. It's about making sure India doesn't just build the shell of a fighter jet, but can also power it with an Indian heart.